you've ever wondered why. I love this guy! Haven't we already watched this before? This looks so familiar. Wait. I like the last video of this that I watched. Here's what happened after all their dreams came true. He is such a good voice. He had a quartet with himself. That's actually kind of cool. After saving China, I've been dressing like a guy for months. Now I'm losing all control. I think I am a guy. In my soul, I want to be a man. I don't know what to say. Replace all these useless tunes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Was absolutely the only single wish my heart I love Cinderella. <laughs> These are actually really hard to fill. All of my plights of how I fit inside a pumpkin. My canines turned to coachmen. Prince threw me in bedlam bed. that night. That night. White jacket. Oh, he's going Cinderella crazy. Shock therapy's made me in. I don't remember shock therapy being in Cinderella. They stuck two steel rods in my brain. That face. I can't read what it says. Oh, town is my favorite. I'm scared. I never saw this one. Duck race. Now it's washed away. It's all washed away. Now my new homie is the Astrodome. Cause New Orleans ain't Katrina proof. You better carry around the shotgun. Or the Luna's take care. Give her seas and levies. I love pink so much. I'm dead. Wait, did he say she's dead? Did she get. Killed by Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> please be frozen. Please be frozen. Please be frozen. There is no snow on the mountain. Elsa. I love frozen. My greenhouse gases. <laughs> Only Bill Nye seems to care. <laughs> time I showed the strength of an evil queen. An evil queen. No. I built a horde of evil snowmen. Oh no. Gonna take over the world. <laughs> I hope you concentrate in camp. Kyle Elsa, let my truth. What? Oh my gosh, Nazi! Oh my god. Are they comparing Elsa and Hitler? Yeah. I sunk like a brick, Prince Thing sunk. Ice is melting quick. Now I have a lot of self esteem. I get it. Beautiful. Damn beautiful. That is awesome. Oh my god! I love that guy! I'm glad Katrina was a while ago, because that would have been really f***ed up. I just love these. Can you make a third one and have it just come out tomorrow already? What did you think of the song? That was really creative. I liked it. I don't know how he comes up with that. It's genius. I think it was probably an extremely great song, but I just didn't get it, because I haven't seen a lot of the f movies. I wasn't into princess movies. Watched the first one actually, and I, I got to it because of Teens React. So, and I subscribed to him because of Teens React. So you reacted to the first one he did in another episode. Yeah, a long time ago. It was a very good sequel. I was in the other one with like Little Mermaid and Belle, Bestiality. I normally never choose sequels, but I really like the second one because it's that kind of dark humor that I like. So we'll break down each of these moments. First was Mulan, the song about her maybe wanting to actually become a man after dressing like a man. What is your thought on that take on the Mulan story? I honestly, I think it's hilarious. I don't think that's what Disney was trying to say. It's not wrong. I feel like he's trying to like say something. Like he has like little a little political agenda. The question is, what happened to Shang, the love interest from Mulan? Did he end up becoming a girl, or did they have a gay marriage together? Then was Cinderella, who ended up in an insane asylum. Yeah, that's sad. Hey, you know what? Uh, before I met you, uh, my uh, my carriage was a pumpkin. If she ever told anyone about that, they're like. Crazy! Then Princess Tiana, whose restaurant washed away in Hurricane Katrina and ultimately dies. <laughs> that's so sad. But when you put it in that perspective, that's hilarious. This guy, I mean, he knows what he's doing. Disney should hire him. That's like the truth. That's like the real truth of what happened in Princess and the Frog. <laughs> then finally, Elsa from Frozen turning a snowman army into basically a Nazi version of Frozen. What do you think of that as a plot for Frozen 2? <laughs> that's just like not okay. That would be terrible. She's like Hitler. I guess some of our Jewish community 
Wouldn't be too great with that, Benny. I don't think Elsa was enough of an evil queen. She was too victimized. So I think it's hilarious that she actually turns into an evil queen and takes over the world to preserve it. Some people have left comments on this video saying that he went too far. Why is it okay or not okay to do this type of thing in your opinion? I think it's perfectly fine. I thought that was fantastic. That's my kind of humor. With any joke, except for like dad jokes, you can offend anyone. Comparing it to like such a bad thing, like Hurricane Katrina where so many people died at the and like the Holocaust, I feel like that's pretty pretty bad. We have to laugh at these things because it shows that like we, we moved on, we got through it. Comedy does not have any borders. We can say all or we can say nothing. You can't pick and choose about who says what. So let's talk about John who made this video. What do you think of his abilities? I think that's really cool. He made a quartet with himself. This video like as a whole was really, really clever. From a musical aspect, it's really difficult to do, to layer all the voices, get the timing correct. That's like a lot of work. And I, how does he, cause obviously he does it all individual videos, but how does he like staying time with himself when he's not singing with himself? Teach me. So both After Ever Afters have millions of views. Why is this concept so viral? I don't know. It's just, it's different princesses, so I guess people want to see what happens to the other princesses. This is really funny. I mean, just the idea behind the kids movie. So many people are into Disney. Anyone can like listen to that and know what he's talking about. He's a good looking guy. He's a really, He's obviously really talented and he's doing this all acapella. There's so many different aspects of it that are interesting. So someone from like an editing point of view is like, oh, you know, that's really cool. I could do something like that. People always have their own concepts or theories of what happens after. And then him just making jokes about what happens after is fantastic. So with these videos, he's making the point that happily ever after may not exist. Do you believe in living happily ever after? No. Not really. I mean, I think you can get real close. Life isn't like that. I believe in being happy for the majority of my life. No, because there's always something that happens that makes it not so happy. Happiness is something that comes from inside of you. So, I mean, it's up to you whether you want to live happily ever after or not. I want a happy ever after for me. And so that's why I watch these movies and I'm like, good, good for that happy ever after. Now where's mine? Yes, one day I get married and I have like five kids and I just like live happily ever after. With who? With who? Harry Styles, then <laughs> duh. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. To see bonus footage from this episode, make sure you go subscribe to the React channel. Let us know in the comments which YouTuber we should react to next. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. I had so much fun reacting to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!